What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the LEGO Star Wars Creative Play Droid Builder set 75392 with 1,186 pieces that retails for $100 US. So we have this set today that I'm not all too excited about and as you see on the box we get four droids of R2-D2, Chopper, QTKT, and R5-J2. So we get these droids that we build. Obviously as you see they look awkward, they're really weird, but they have this customization going on with them so they come with all these accessories you see sort of laying in the background here so you can like sort of dress up and change out your droids so obviously this is aimed for kids but at a hundred dollars that's way too high for probably what most people would spend for a set for kids and this isn't labeled as like four plus or anything which I feel it should be obviously you're dealing with a lot of little pieces and that's why it's not but just with what this is intended for it should be a four plus set so to me this was a pretty much a complete waste of money I did not need to buy this at all but the only reason I did was to get this 25th anniversary Leia figure which of course is of young Leia from the Kenobi show which getting a young Leia figure I'm not all too excited about but I want to get the 25th anniversary figures to make sure I have all of them so so that is the only reason I bought this set so I probably should have just tried to go on like the secondary market and see if anyone's selling them because I'd probably spend a lot less than a hundred dollars on this because to me this set is worthless so I'm just probably gonna end up just piecing it out just to add pieces to my collection because there's no to me nothing important or redeeming about these figures that I would want to keep in the collection like when I first saw this I was like oh maybe I'll keep R2-D2 and Chopper just because you know they're two well-known and named characters characters I like so I was like oh I'll keep those but just seeing their builds I don't like the way they look either so there was no point of even keeping those together but like I said you see get the four droids here and all these extra little accessories that we can pop on them as it shows them there and then if we flip around the back you'll see the accessories so obviously you can put any accessories you want with any of the droids but they have sort of like the way they are built like by the instructions you know each character has their own accessories that come with them but like I said you can obviously mix and match whatever you want but there's just what they look like so each character gets their own little accessories that I'll show you but enough with looking at the box let's go and look at the actual set and we'll start with our minifigure of young Leia. So here's our 25th anniversary young Leia figure. So I think overall she looks good. She does have the shorter legs so you know it does make her smaller and then it's nice that she has the green outfit. Of course it always reminds me of like the indoor Leia outfit but it's what she wore in the Kenobi series when they went on the run. So it's nice that she has that design with the brown legs and the green outfit like I said just reminds me so much of the indoor Leia wearing the camo and everything. But then we get her young face so it just looks like you know a little girl nothing special there. But I do think yeah she has a printing like an angry face there on the back and then she does have the hair design where her hair up into a button so looks good enough for like what Leia would have obviously this isn't exactly what she had in the show but it looks you know good enough for a Leia hair design and then she does have some tan gloves there on her hand and we get the base plate that it's standing on for the 25 years of Lego Star Wars so that's cool and then of course I sent it flying but we also get Lola which again is another cool thing so we get her little droid she had in the show so we get Lola so it's up on this you know little flight stand showing it's flying up in the air or we can take it off the stand and you know easily put this into her hand so like she's holding onto it so she can hold it like that as well so you can do either one I like having it on the stand though with her so as I said this was the thing I was most looking forward to and wanting out of the set so I spent a hundred dollars for this little mini figure so hopefully that wasn't too bad of a financial decision but overall like I said I like it biggest things that is a 25th anniversary figure so that's the only reason why I wanted it anyway so as I've kind of alluded to the only redeeming quality out of this set so here we've got our four droids. So I'll start with R2-D2. So like I said, I thought I'd maybe even keep these together, just like I said, because of, you know, give me an R2 little figure just to keep out. But because of the legs is the reason why I decided not to, just because how thick and chunky the legs are on these things. Like the center body isn't bad. I do think that there's a little bit too much to it. Like I do think it's, which it'll be designed for the, you know, outfits and stuff they come with. It's a flat plate too high. So I'd probably take off like this center circle and just lower everything down one. And I think it'd make R2 look a little bit better. But then you just got the way too big chunky legs so that's the only reason why I'm not going to keep it together but I think overall looks good you know it looks like R2 so each one their heads will spin around so they have the separations and then as you saw in the box they do separate in different pieces they have the legs that can obviously spin around and then they do also have the third leg and down here so obviously it adjusts you can get them to sort of sit in their reclined position there so overall that's pretty cool like I said you know that it functions and works nice little details you know to make it look like R2 with like little sections for the lights and all that so and the little eye design so 
I think overall they look pretty decent, like I said, especially the center body, like I said, probably just take off a few plates on the top and bottom, sort of flatten it out. Same with down here, I'd probably just make it this smaller section just to sort of flatten it out and like make it more proportional. But then the legs sort of ruin it because I can't really do much to adjust those. I'd have to like mess around with it a lot for that to work. So I will say the models aren't horrible. They're just not good enough for me to even want to keep out. Now on this R2, I do also have the little flames. Obviously these are additional little accessories. They just go with R2 and I already had them on there. So the little flame booster. So obviously we'd put those on any of these figures so he can now fly around with that, which is cool. But then he also comes with his little accessory. So first off, he comes with a set of headphones. So obviously he likes to start listen to music or something. So with this, we do have the little connection piece. You know, there are jumper plates all over to attach him. So for this, you just attach on top of his head and then adjust the headphones down to each side so that it's actually sitting on his head there and looks pretty nice. So there he's got his head of headphones on. And then he also comes with a rubber ducky, like a pool inflatable. So nice little duck design, but you know, not really useful for anything else. So with each of these, they will have bottom separation. So you just come down here towards the bottom of their body and they will separate out. So we can separate that out there and then place him on the duck. So now he's got the duck and then you take the bottom off of this. So it has the separation pieces there and attach this on. So now he's got the rubber duck put on him now so he's ready to go out into the beach or a pool or something and just have fun for the day listening to music and floating in the water with that rubber duck. So I think, you know, it's interesting. It's nice the way they design stuff to make it work for each one. But I don't care. I don't want R2-D2 with a rubber duck. Even though I like rubber duck and pool inflatables and stuff, don't really need it on an R2 though. So again, like I said, this is designed for kids but way too expensive probably for most kids to even get. So it, like I said, I feel Lego went a little bit too awkward with this one. But there we've got R2 two with his accessories. And then of course next we'll look at Chopper, which again is always a fun one, character from Rebels, another droid that I really like. So I said this would probably be one I was gonna keep out as well. And he has the same issue, so a little bit too tall on top and long at the bottom. And then the legs are just way too big. So like I said, that's the only reason why I'm not gonna be keeping them together. But overall, otherwise, you know, looks good. You know, looks like Chopper, just a brick built version of Chopper. Has his radar dish on top, his little arms out to the side as well. Of course they pop off pretty easily there, but just his little arms there, which will be useful. And his third leg, but the wheel this time so that's pretty nice that he actually has the wheel there so overall pretty nice for chopper and he'll be the same so the head can twist around the legs rotate and then his third wheel doesn't adjust because it's just sitting there in the wheel position for that so we got that and for his accessories his are a little bit more fun but still i don't care about him but he comes with a cowboy hat so we get a cowboy hat we can just sit right on top of his head so it sits right on top of the radar dish and kind of holds it on so there he's got the cowboy hat but he also has a baseball cap as well and of course they always have a sort of pictured with the bill sort of front up there a little so you can put that on so there he's got like a baseball cap or we could probably even yeah just put it on backwards because you know chopper's a cool guy he'll wear his hats backwards so there we've got the hat on him he also comes with a mustache so again fun little detail so again with the jumper plates on the front we can put a mustache on him so now chopper has a little mustache there so it looks a little bit cooler of course the cowboy hat i feel would go better with that and then he has extra fun accessories so we get i assume it's a balloon on a stick supposed to be a blue balloon and an ice cream cone so we can put these into his hands so there chopper has the balloon and ice cream and with those accessories it reminds me that chopper's been at like a carnival or a county fair or something pretty fun for chopper again fun things but not going to use them for anything else i think it's fun with the mustache you know the cowboy hat and then he's got the little other accessories there so either aren't bad for him like i, said, I think the cowboy hat looks much better though with the mustache so there's chopper all now ready so maybe he was at a fair watching some rodeo or something so that's fun and next we've got Cutie KT, also known as just Cutie. So she looks nice, so like an R2 droid, just all in the pink design this time. So it looks pretty nice overall. I didn't know much about her, so I looked it up and it just said that I think she was in the Clone Wars and that she belonged to Ayla Secure, so that was her droid. So it's pretty nice, just with the nice pink designs. Of course, she's not KT, the R2 KT droid. That looks just like R2, but pink, so this one she has more designs on her chest. It even has like a little printed piece there on it. So you get a little bit different design, but overall she still just looks like an R2 droid but looks nice with the pink everywhere so nice hot pink colors love the different shades of pink so in like normal pink and a more magenta color and stuff has the same little lights and eyes everything that R2 has so pretty nice has the third leg with the movement her legs of course rotate and her head rotates just like all the others so she looks pretty nice but again no real interest in it but since she is programmed as a girl she does come with more girly things so we get her hat so she's got this hat with a big flower coming off the top of it so we can pop this on her head so it just sort of sticks on there that one actually sort of pegs on to keep it on there. She also comes with a set of sunglasses, so to make her look all cool, we get sunglasses. So there they are, of course, sitting down a little low since her eyes right there, but you can still just have them on and it looks like she's wearing sunglasses. 
And then finally she comes with a bow. So you bow, I think it goes on her chest. So it's kind of like a bow tie there, but you can also put it up on her head as like a bow. So she has like a bow in her hair. So you can put it like that as well if you want. So you can choose either one, but just to have all the accessories, I'll go ahead and just put it on her chest for now. So there's QT with all her accessories. So again, just trying to make her look like a fun, cute little girl there with the flower hat and the bow and stuff on her. So she looks fun, but again, not really interested in it at all. And finally, we have R5J2, which was a droid on the Death Star 2. So just from the Return of the Jedi movie, just an all black droid with some orange coloring. I wish the orange would stand out a little more. This is more, I think they call it like nougat or something. So I wish it was more of a normal orangish color, but looks pretty good overall. You know, not too different from R2. He is more of an R5 model. So he does have like the open section here, like R5D4 and the more trapezial shape for the head and stuff. Has a little antenna on top, which he normally just has like a straight antenna sticking off over like to the back here but this looks a little bit more like a radar dish sort of one so a little radar that'll spin around but has like the little two eyes there on the side and the rest of the body looks you know very similar to r2d2 just all in black he has the third wheel and then his legs have the stud shooters on which you know he doesn't really have that in the movie or anything but just for this design they have with a stud shooter since he is evil so he's got to have guns there to be able to shoot people but again his legs will rotate and head will twist around and then we get his accessories which i feel they make him look more like a nerd so we get a top hat and a lot of them have purple on it so we get this top hat design with the purple top hat that'll sit right on top so he has the top hat on he comes with a pair of glasses so he looks very nerdish with these glasses so he's got the glasses on there i love how they sit around those two little like eye designs so that's fun and then he also comes with a bow tie so this gray bow tie with the purple in the center we can attach on the front here so there he's got his bow tie hat and glasses there so he's ready to go out for an event tonight so that's what he looks like and don't really care too much at all about it. don't like the accessories or anything i don't think they're that fun but that's just just what he looks like so there we got all four droids with their accessories so like i said i think the th idea is fun but this is made more for kids but it's sold at an adult price so that's why i don't think this set is going to work out too well and i think it's relatively stupid now as i didn't really show these that's are all made the same so like they're all like r2 if you want to put this r5 with the rubber duck you can pull his body apart and attach it on there so like i said they're all built the same pretty much so you can put any accessories on any of these characters but they just have here what the box shows that they came with so like i said not at the absolutely worst set ever i guess it's a big waste of money i'll tell you that much but like i said this is made more for kids so i feel this should be made and put, sold at a kid's price point because this that's exactly who this is intended for i just don't know too many people that are going to go out and buy a hundred dollar lego set just for a kid especially a kid young enough that would enjoy this sort of thing so again i don't know what demographic lego was going for with this set but it is what it is it's the set like i said it's not the absolutely worst set ever i think they did a good job like designing the droids to get them to look like they do I just wish the legs weren't as big and chunky as they are. And I like the idea of the accessories. I think they did a good job, you know, building the cowboy hat, the baseball hat, the rubber duck, that sort of thing. They did a good job building the accessories, but I just don't really care about them all. So like I said, the biggest thing for me was getting the young Leia figure from this set. So let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. If you enjoyed my review, though, let me know with that like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more LEGO reviews. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there, and I'll see you in our next review.